here to uh, uh, the main speaker, but uh, ahead of that, I want uh, everybody to meet that have, hasn't met uh, Ray Myers from the Coffin County Tea Party. Uh, Ray has a lot of insight on what's going on statewide and such, and of course he was up at the Canton, uh, the combined Tea Party between Eden and Canton. Uh, last month and presented the uh, program on immigration and what's transpiring and I'd like for him to step up here and bring us up to date on some items that are pertinent to everybody. Come on, Ray. Thank you, Ray. Thank you, Ray. Well, I didn't bring anything from the state, but what I did bring, and, and, and uh, I'm not really prepared to, to talk about something that maybe Doc wanted me to talk about, but I will tell you this. We just got through their municipal elections. Their, you know, our city council, mayor, school board. And I was uh, participating uh, in supporting a young lady from mayor, Evan Forney. And she wanted to run a very positive campaign, and I, I, that's great. I love that and everything. But as you well know, negative campaigning works. Y'all ever hear that? Negative campaigning works. So she had an opponent who has uh, got lots of money, and he decided one day, he said, I think I'll just be mayor, and I think I'll just buy it. So that's what he did. He uh, spent somewhere between seventy-five dollars and $100,000 to be, become the mayor of Forney. And uh, in so doing, he, he really he hacked off everybody on the council, and he, he didn't run for mayor of Forney. He ran against Forney. And, but the thing about it is, our, our, our young lady, that was, she was running from the heart, and uh, she probably spent $10,000 on this race. And uh, we got beat by 32 votes. <laughs> and uh, there was a third person in the race. Do you believe that? And uh, was, so, it, was it Perot? Perot, no. <laughs> it was almost Perot. The former mayor was the third person, and he got, I think he got uh, 27 votes. The former mayor. So, and I'm talking about, we, we got, you know, I mean, our, our lady got almost 600 votes. He got just a little over 600 votes. So it was, uh, you know, 1,200 votes or something cast. But the thing about it is, we just with that third person in there, with the 27, 28 votes, had we got two votes, two votes, would have been in a runoff of that guy. Now, and that's where, where, let me get back to my point here. She didn't want to run a negative campaign. Well, we found out that the guy's got, he's got a business, a very successful business in 40. He's, he's working illegal aliens there. He's got a warrant for his arrest that she didn't want to bring out. He's got all kinds of other problems. He's, he owes money in Brazoria County on, on the, that he's never paid the school district down there. Saying, but she didn't want to bring that. She said, I'm going to run an up and up campaign. I want to tell people, you know, I'm going to keep it positive, keep it above board, and let's do it right. The main, listen, folks, we have got to vet these candidates. We've got to know what's going on out there. Because when you put somebody like that in charge, he's already pissed off, excuse me, he's pissed off the whole council because he ran against the council. And he wrote, he, he had on every side he had, get this, every campaign sign he had, he says, for a tax break now. A tax break now. Now, how can a mayor do a tax break without council approval? Oh, he can't, can't do it. <laughs> can't do it. He's, but what he, what he did, he's effectively neutered himself. So, and he's going to have a rough time on that council. He got elected by 32 votes. But what the, my, and the point is, go vote. You guys, this is the heart and soul of our community. I don't care if you've got 200 folks in your community or 30,000 people in your community. You've got to get people off their butt and get them in that ballot box. Get them up there to vote. It's so important. The last thing I want to say, I'm out campaigning. I'm knocking doors for, uh, for, this, for this young lady. Great young lady. And here the guy came that comes out. He's holding a little two-year-old girl. And I hey, man, I, uh, young man, I'm, I'm Ray Myers. He's probably late 20s. I'm Ray Myers. I'm out campaigning campaign for Mary Penn. I'd sure appreciate your support. 
will you go vote on Saturday? He said, sir, I've never voted in my life. Don't have a reason to vote. He said, I just got out of the army. He said, I've never voted. I said, well, let me tell you something, young man. You're holding the best reason in the world to vote. You're holding it right there in your arms. And if you, don't, if, you, if you can't do that, then you need to go back and do something else. Because that little kid that you're holding right there is not going to have a life. So it's important, folks. Thank you very much.